Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, we are going to discuss about benefit group. We are going to discuss how we can create the benefit group and how we can use the benefit group. So we are going to use the benefit group page to see what groups the participants is enrolled in and manage new and existing membership that would be at the participant level and now how do we use benefit groups okay so one thing uh, that we are focusing on right now is that we can use a benefit group as a criteria in an eligibility profile and we can use it to either include or exclude group of individuals and its main purpose is that we can't find anything else on their assignment that would differentiate a group of individuals and we need just that added piece of the criteria. And that's where the group would come in. We can also use the benefit group in reporting and they can also be used as a parameter in batch processes. So uh, to use a benefit group, you would assign individuals to one or more benefit group using what's called the manage person habits. And this is actually found in the enrollment work area. So that's the area that we access to look at all things for a particular individuals. So the first thing that we would do is create the benefit group and then attach it to the people that we want to group together. And then we can use that benefit group in an eligibility profile and through the process of linking the benefit group to the qualified participant and including it in, a, in the eligibility profile that can help control benefits offering. So let's move on to the application where we are going to perform this task. So you have to log in as a implementation user, then you have to go to the benefit administration option. Here you can see the benefit administration option. And here first you have to go to the plan configuration option. And then go to the task panel. Here you have to find the benefit groups. Here you can see under the eligibility, you can see here the benefit group. Just click on it. Okay, so this particular benefit object is not effective dated. Here you can see there is a no option for effective as of date here. So we will go ahead and click on the create. Here you are. You can also see here, there is a no effective start date option. So you can fill the name here. And also fill the description. And here, select the legal employer. So. Now we could assign a benefit group to a particular legal employer, right? So in which case only people assigned to that particular would be able to have the benefit group attached to them, right? So here, if I select the US legal employer, US fund legal entity here. So only US fund legal entity employer are able to attach with this benefit group. We are creating here. Just click the save and close option. Okay, so our benefit group is created now. So now what we'll do next, we go to the home page again. And then again, go to the benefit administration option and just click on the enrollment. Here we have to find our person with whom we want to attach our benefit group we just created. Okay, so I select the Hope High Tower here. And now we have to go to the benefit group option here. You can see that. So this worker doesn't have any benefit 
group here. So we have to click on the add option. Select our benefit, which we just created. You can see here, fusion benefit group. Just and then change the benefit start group if you want. Or you, you can also select today's date. Okay, then just click on the save and close option. So this is how we can add the benefit group with the participants, right? So now how we can add the benefit group with the eligibility profile. So we have to go to the again home page and then benefit administration page. And then go to the plan configuration option. Okay, then you can also go by here and also go to the eligibility by the task area. Okay, when you create the eligibility profile under the other option, you can see here the benefit groups, right? You just create, fill the name option here for creating the eligibility profile and then just click on the create option and find your benefit group here. You can see here the benefit group option, right? So when you create the eligibility profile, you can add the benefit groups with your eligibility profile and then you can assign this eligibility profile to your program. Okay. And that program is going to associate with your participants. So we are going to perform these tasks with our upcoming session. So this is all about today's session. I hope uh, how we can create the benefit group and how we can uh, associate benefit group with the participants or employee and how we can assign benefit group to the eligibility profile. These all things clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video.